Hello and welcome to another short drawing lesson. This week we're going to draw the Hyundai Envision 74, the new concept car that came out recently. Um, first thing we do is a front wheel over this side and then we'll draw another one two and a half wheels further back. One, two and a half and then another circle. I'm using a fountain pen today so there's no correcting that I can do really, I'll just have to try and uh, not draw attention to any wonky bits by drawing over them again and again, that will just make it worse. So the bottom of the car, very close to the ground, a horizontal line, just from there. This is going to be the front end, that'll be the back, we don't need it out there. Next we need to know where the front of the car is, so find the middle point of your front wheel, come forward half a wheel, and then draw the nose of the car there. Beneath it, you can draw a cutout like that for the front wing, spoiler, splitter, whatever it's called. Next, we need a long line that's going to skim the tops of the wheels. So just above the front wheel, we're going to go through that point. And a slightly higher above the back wheel, we'll go through that point. And we're going to start over here at the nose of our car and extend out the back slightly. Might take a couple of goes, but just try your best. Use the sweep of your arm to to do something that works. Um, the back of the car is about um, say three quarters of a wheel or two thirds or something. Um, quite a long overhang at the back. And um, it comes down, so if you find this middle point of the back wheel on the back edge there, you want a bit of a, a slope coming up to meet your back edge of the car. Um, next we can put the door in, so at the front, a bit less than half a wheel back from here, probably a third of a wheel, It'll be the front edge of the door, pretty much vertical but I've put a slight curve in there, it just feels more natural on the door. Um, at the back, the back edge of the door will be at this half a wheel point here that we made when we were measuring at the beginning. And um, at this level with the centres of the wheels, we've got a kind of a, uh, a groove or a crease in the door. So have a horizontal line that goes all the way along there, as if it's going to head to that point in the middle of the wheel. And then the space you've got left, you can divide in half. And then this little part here needs to be a triangle. And that same triangle this same angle that you've got there, you put here, and then that's the shape of your door then. But this line will carry on up to form an air intake up here. And where, the, where this angle happens, there's going to be a horizontal line which just comes through to meet your tail. And you can imagine that being extended and going through the front as well. There's like a little detail there. And um, now we can have a look at the top part of the car. So we need a, a sloping pillar coming from there. A bit of thickness. And the side window height is going to be half a wheel. So half a wheel is the top edge of your side window and quite a sloping pillar coming up to meet it. And you can give your windscreen a tiny bit of thickness because it's got a bit of a curve in it, curve the bottom edge. And you might need to just add a bit of thickness to your bonnet to meet it because the bonnet will be curved as well when you look at it from the front. A bit of thickness to the roof. And then once you get past this pillar, you can drop off to meet this point. And give that some thickness. And in there is a divider with some filler caps. Sorry about the uh, gardening noises. There's some, it's a lovely sunny day here. So everybody's out mowing their lawn and stuff. This is the diffuser at the back. And there's also a really big 
wing there as well, which has this kind of shape. So now we've got the basic layout, we can start to make it look nice. So there are lots of graphic elements and also we need to make it look a bit more three-dimensional so we'll put the ground, ground in and show the wheels on the far side of the car, darken the underside, anything that would be completely dark. We can have these um, cutouts front and back, so there's a cutout there. section here with your lights in and a bumper or something and um, now we can start colouring in some of these uh, graphic elements so the wing at the front splitter um, that's got like a triangular shape here and then everything under the door that's all dark I'm imagining this is all carbon fibre or something because I'm using a pen I'm hatching it whereas if you're using a pencil you might just want to shade it and in that space there's a rectangular air intake as well this big air intake here is again carbon or something so it's all dark and the big uh, diffuser at the back and the wing and the wing will need a support of some sort. And now a bit more, a few more things we can do to make it feel three-dimensional, we've got a little wing mirror there to add in, is if we were looking at the side of this car we'd probably be able to see up inside the roof there. So we'll just darken that. Down here we've got another triangle, I nearly missed that one. And this last bit of carbon here where these fillers are. Maybe you just want to show the end plate of the wing on the far side. And I think that's pretty much our car done. Hope you found that fun. It's quite a futuristic looking sci-fi car isn't it? Um, let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like me to try next and uh, I'll do my best to get round to them all. Otherwise have a good week, like and subscribe and that sort of stuff. And I'll see you again soon.